all right grace people you welcome back to this training welcome back to my youtube channel as well i'm samuel also here in this particular tutorial we are going to design a very beautiful birthday flyer a very beautiful birthday flyer like this one right so i'm here in Pizzlab, and as you can see i designed this very beautiful birthday flyer in Pizzlab, and we are going to make a replicate of it so I want you to follow attentively and pay attention as we are starting. Right, so let me tap here and then get rid of the design. Let me tap here and then get rid of the design. Tap on. Okay, so we are going to start a phrase. Let me tap or come to the A, the alphabet column and then let me delete this particular test and then let me come here. The background to the car the background too and then let me come to from gallery i'm going to upload my background image for my gallery so to send me here and then i'm going to choose this particular background let me come to from my gallery and then let me choose where is it all right so this here's the background right so here's the background as you can see the back the size of the background is bigger or lengthier than the normal size or the size we want so the size we want is the square size that's the one one is to one ratio right so let me tap on the square size tap on the square size and then move the background and move this square to down here move it to down the down part and then tap on the check mark like this so we have our background our background very nice and beautiful so i'll give you all the resources in the description or in the group so you check it out and then you use it to design your own right so let now let's come to the middle to here the image surface and then let's come to import and import our images from here import our images that you are going to use right so as you can see there is a um, watermark on it the app that i use to remove the background the watermark of that app is on it so let's leave it like this and tap on the check mark we can crop here and tap on the check mark right so here you can see that the watermark is still on it and okay let's move it like this let's increase it and move and hide the watermark right you bring it down here to hide the watermark and the other way we can get rid of it is to erase it you can come to erase you see come to erase and then you move this dots here right so that you increase the tip of the eraser right so you can erase it you tap on it you use your hand to erase it right right so you have to take your time and be careful with it so we have erased it as you can see there's no watermark on it again let's tap on the check mark here we have got get rid we have gotten rid of the watermark yeah so we bring the image here we can come to relative position and position it in this middle right so we get our image here let me increase it a bit now let's log the image we have logged our image and let's come to import again and import our other image and other images right so this is the other image here is it all right so here is the other image let's tap on the check mark increase the size of it i'll give all these resources or images that i'm using in the description or in the group so that you can use it to design yours so let's send this particular flower image to back tap on to back and then send it to back so you position it here very beautiful one right nice so let's make a duplicate of it by tapping on this copy tool here tap on copy and then you have a duplicate of it and position it here let me look here to right all right so you bring it here and then send it to back tap on to back to let the 
to lock the images um, the flower images to back so let me lock this one and let's move this one also here all right i want to look at the main work so that i'm not making any mistakes right okay right 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 so position it well this one should come somewhere here all right position it well now let's lock them lock them down so that we cannot move them unless we unlock them right now let's blend the um the beneath of this design or this image we want to bring some blur shape or something like that to blur the picture and this is how we are going to do it let's start here and then let's come to the middle tool here the image images um interface so that we choose shape shapes let's tap on shapes all right so once you tap on shape this square shape will automatically appear and then we are going to make it look like um we are going to make it in a form of a blur distance so that you can blur it underneath so once you tap on the shape and this one appears you come down here and come to fill color you come to gradient choose gradient let's tap on gradient and then when you come tap on gradient you tap on any gradient color here you tap on any gradient color so let me tap on this gradient color so once i tap on the gradient color let me tap on this plus sign so we are going to customize our gradient and this gradient is going to be in such a way that um the beneath this the color the bottom color is going to be um white and the top color is going to be transparent are you getting me so here is the bottom color so we tap here first tap here and then we choose color tap on color so color here should be white so you move this to here you move the second one to here and move the first um, slider to this end this left end here far end here so we have a white color right so we tap on okay so the bottom is white so here is going to be transparent so tap on here so that you select here and then tap on color i hope you are following follow attentively so that you don't make any mistakes so when you come here you make this slider um, the last slider you move it here here's the transparent part so you move the last slider here you see so we tap on ok so we have gotten our blur distance so we are going to use it to blur the image so we tap on ok so we have the blur shape here uh, right so you make you minimize it like this make it small like this and you bring it here so we are using it to blur it you see that the bottom of the image is not showing you have blurred it so um okay okay so we tap on the check mark here so we have gotten our design like this and it's looking more beautiful right so now let's lock this layer to the um, shape here follow attentively and do the same so that you get the final result right so now we are going to we are going to bring the happy birthday we can write it here but we have um it in a form of image we have saved it in a form of image so we come to our imports as i said everything will be given to you so that you can use it to design yours so here is it right here is it here is the happy birthday it was saved as image in an image form so you upload it and then you tap on the check mark don't tap on anywhere to crop it right so you bring it here that's the happy birthday happy birthday yes right so here you position it in the middle like this right and now you come to color just come to color and change the color to deep black the blue, this black here very nice one very nice one so you move it to the top a bit and then you write the name of the the celebrant the person who's celebrating the birthday so we are going to write the name of the celebrant it's a random name that's not the name of the, this model or this um, actress right that's not the name of her 
that's not her name this is a random name so the name that we are going to write is tap on test and let's write a random name it's jennifer so happy birthday jennifer so you get your jennifer like this right jennifer test then let's come to fonts and change the fonts of the um the jennifer tests right so you come to recent i use this recently but if you have not used it recently it will not come to re recent this is the name of the font the jimp jimp text so it's something like that so when you come to your font you'll see it here when you come to your font column you'll see it here um where is it jimp text jimp text I think it will be somewhere here. Where is it? Come here. Okay. Okay, guys. So you take your time, or you can use any. Um, here is this raw. Wow, here is a cheap text. So you choose this font, this particular font. You choose it, and then you tap on OK. So we have our font here. So you position it here. You can make it a bit smaller. And position it under the happy birthday and you change the color of that font let's make it yellow let's make it yellow so you come to color and make it yellow this yellow here this yellow here i recently used it as white is showing here but here is the position of it here is it located this particular font this particular color sorry so you choose this like that and then you lock your okay lock your test right so now um we are almost done we are almost done let's break some circle and then right there date the person is celebrating the birthday so you come to this um uh, image interface then come to shapes when you come to shapes tap on this small arrow here this triangle arrow there tap on it and then you choose circle circle and tap on the check mark here so you have a circle here wow, very nice one and we can um, decide to let it to make the color be white but i just want to change it so that we have another orange color here so we come to color enable it and choose this color orange color or yellow yellow orange something like that so you choose it like this and we have our orange color here See? and we are going to make a duplicate of it come to tap on copy copy and then you come to edit you tap on copy come to edit so that we edit the shape we are going to make it thin we are going to make it thin so we tap on edit and when we tap on edit come to opacity and reduce the opacity to zero so there will be there will be you will not see any color here it's now opacity right it's not transparent let me put that way so you move down here to stroke stroke weight stroke weight and make the stroke weight increase it by tapping here you increase it to three one two three just three or four five let's make it five so that's really checking now and then you come to i think that's all come to show color see stroke color and let's make it um this orange here this orange color we have our stroke color orange and then tap on the check mark here so we have our um our stroke circle here okay so we position it here you make it around the circle perfectly i want you to take your time designing it's not it's a rush thing you don't have to rush when you are designing take your time and then Get the best out of your design take your time and you see yeah so we make the stroke circle around the first circle okay so now let's lock all our resources or elements so now we are coming to write the date the person is celebrating the birthday so this is random i'm writing second december so right second december bring our full stop sound here and then we reduce the size when you are reducing a test size by tapping here you see that it will be moving you see but take your time 
if you don't want it to move like that come just come to size come to size and reduce it here tap on the minus this one here to reduce and tap here to increase so this time you want to reduce so we tap on the minus and here we go here we go so we can change the color of the test to be black this default color is not all that black like that so we change it to the dark black okay nice one so we have our date our happy birthday in the name of the celebrant very beautiful design right we are almost done so now let's come and write some well wishes uh ways for our celebrants so we come to the a colon here and we tap on test we tap on test and we tap on for the edit sorry so we have i have written some uh, well wishes ways for our celebrants so i'll put it here so if you are if you don't have anything that you have written already you can just type more blessings peace long life right just simple like that and then you reduce the size you see how i have reduced the size of the test and the elements follow as the same your design don't have to the elements of the design they, they all don't have to be big like that reduce them and follow the hierarchy principle i'm following the hierarchy principle if you don't know what the hierarchy principle is you will learn about it and before but before that follow this tutorial so that you automatically follow the hierarchy principle without making any mistake right so i have my well which is where it's here so i'll come to line spacing move to the line spacing you see line spacing we reduce the last last i'm um, sorry the line spacing to minus seven and then we deepen the color of the test so we choose the dark black by coming to color and then choose dark black right so we have finished with our design very beautiful design so i hope you guys have found value and i will urge you to follow attentively and then understand the tutorial watch to the end understand the tutorial if you don't understand it for the first time rewatch it so that you understand it perfectly and then you try your hands on the design i'll give all the resources and the elements to you so that you can use and i think you are going to be fine right so i want you to subscribe to help promote or to help grow this channel like if you find it too helpful comment and then you share to your friends too thank you for following so you save your design after designing after finishing you save as image you come and choose ultra here and you save to gallery see you guys